This style of crystal radio is the easiest to build, it's the most reliable, uh, but it does have one drawback and that's this wiper arm and uh, let's let's talk about that. I've been working on some improvements but I can show you the problems with it. Let's uh, get in a little closer. The uh, rod likes to, you can see it bend as I start to go this way and it bends and then releases, bends and releases so it makes it harder to tune. Uh, a lot of times you'll get right on where you think you want to be and then you let go and it kind of snaps back to another position. Uh, the other thing is out here in the middle it's uh, very tight but as you go farther away it becomes kind of loose on the uh, on the coils and it all has to do with you know some geometry and then how smooth this thing operates and I've never been able to get this you know to operate really smoothly so let me show you an upgrade that you can do on this radio that I've been working on and I think it's uh, it's going to help a lot there's a loop on the bottom of this shaft like this and there's one on here and the problem is that when you're dealing with a stainless steel bicycle spoke or stainless steel rod or whatever it's really hard to bend that into a perfectly round circle and it's really hard to get it exactly the size you need for the screw and so what happens is this thing slides around it binds up it locks up and I've had several ideas on how to to make this rounder or make it uh, run more smoothly. Let me uh, talk about that. I had some different ideas for this. One of them was to, actually I tried uh, welding this to a uh, stainless steel washer and I just don't have the right welding equipment. If you had like a uh, you know, TIG or something like that, you could probably do it. I can't get a fine enough weld. I tried soldering it. I don't have the right flux and I can't find the right flux to solder. So that didn't work. Um, I tried, uh, try, I was looking for like a brass grommet for a boot so I could put it in there and hammer it in and well I couldn't find anybody who sold brass grommets so I got a piece of brass tubing. I tried putting it in here and splitting it and making my own grommet. Never could get it right. Uh, it was hideous. Uh, but while I was fussing around I found a big piece of copper and I started going like this and okay what if I did this or that. I thought what if I did that I hammered this thing oval put this in there and then hammered on that uh, I would have a flat like a flat washer this thing would be inside here and I could drill a, a hole of whatever size I need uh, exactly centered and it would fit the screw very nicely and so that's what I did. Let me show you the result. So this is the result. You can see the loop that's inside there. This is the copper tubing. It's been smashed. Uh, I put a board on each side and hit it so that it would uh, mold itself around that stainless wire. And so now I've got a hole exactly where I need it. It's the right size for my screw. And when I put it between two washers uh, I can either use a spring like on top spring loader like I did in another video but as you can see that will slide nicely I can get that hole to stay right where I want it uh, it will line up because of the screw it will line up uh, into the top of the uh, mount and it will move very nicely so I won't have it binding and jerking and whatever I can apply less pressure uh, I can use a spring I'm also thinking about using a felt pad to apply a little pressure and that's it. So a huge improvement on this style of just using a, a rough loop and uh, something you can upgrade on your existing Boy Scout version uh, style crystal radio or if you're going to build one you could jump straight to this method. Here it is roughly in position it's not finished and the upper layers up here they'll either be a spring or a felt pad give it a little bit of pressure but uh, it's already very smooth and it doesn't wobble around doesn't bind so that's it uh, when I'm done with this radio I'll, I'll put together a, a video on that okay well that was it upgrade for your crystal radio hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY crystal radio experimentation